How's it going everybody and welcome back to the video. So a key note I'd like to mention at the beginning of this video is that I'm recording all of the audio from this video on this microphone setup I'm showing you. Uh, I'd also like to mention that this costs 60 bucks and yeah without further ado let's get into the video. So first up we have our little NW800 right here which actually isn't too huge but it's a decently sized mic and I found that the build quality on this is pretty good. All right, here I'm about to show you all the spec sheet for this. I mean, you really can't see too much, but if you can pick out what that means, I mean, I'm, I'm holding it upside down right there. That's really super now that I think about it. But there's some of the specs right there. Just pause it if y'all want to see it. This is a cardioid microphone. So next up, we have a DXLR to 3.5 millimeter jack right there. I'm not using that personally. Well, I'm using it out of the phantom power supply. But um, you can plug that straight into your computer if you want, but it won't really give it enough power unless you have like a good USB sound card. So I really wouldn't recommend that. Now, if y'all can see the microphone right here, it looks really nice. It's got that nice gold head to it. Unfortunately, you have to uh, cover it with the pop filter, which kind of ruins the look of it. But hey, I'd rather less protrusive peas and still have, you know, a really good mic overall. So yeah, it came in a little flattened, I was a little upset about that, but it didn't really tear whenever I unflattened it, it was perfectly fine. So, and oh, also, it's pretty hard to put on there, as y'all see in this next little part. Uh, it kind of disappeared flattening it out right there. And then this part right here, y'all saw that little piece that fell out right there? You're going to need to make sure to grab onto that. That's the only way you can mount this thing with the um stand that I have linked in this video. So yeah, make sure you grab that, because otherwise you'll not be able to install this mic. I guess you could just install the mic into that um, shock mount right there, and that would work just fine. But if you want to use the stand itself, then you will have to keep that piece. Now, here's me trying to get the foam thing on here, which takes a good little while, actually. And also, I kind of look at the build quality a little bit. It's like a metallic build, but it's like aluminum, I guess you'd say, the microphone. I guess it's made of aluminum, and it takes DXLR, obviously, and yeah, it just, that pop filter fits on snug, and I found that it's pretty fine. I'm going to do a little pop test, P, P, pepper, as y'all can see, I don't know exactly how that was, but hopefully that was fine. So next up, we have the Phantom Power Supply. Now this thing, I found actually looked pretty cool, and it's got some really nice features to it. As soon as I get it open, let's see how long this is going to take, how long does it take an idiot to unbox, all right. So it's got the nice newer logo. It's got the AC in, the um, DXLR in and out as on the other side. Then it's got the power button on that side with an LED light. Man, I moved really fast in this video. Next, they have the DXLR to DXLR cable. And yeah, that's it. It's just a standard cable like that. And then now they have the little power supply. I'm not sure exactly how many volts and amps this was, but I'm pretty sure it's just probably some standard power supply. I mean, you could probably look... I think it showed it on the actual power input to the phantom power supply, but it's a 48 volt thing, so I mean, that kind of gives you a clue. Now we have our little stand right here, which I find this thing a little flimsy, but overall it's pretty fine. It can hold the microphone up as it needs to, and I it's a little, uh, I, I'd say it's not even that annoying, um, except for the fact it's kind of hard to mount because you have to have like a pinching point. As you're going to see, I'm unboxing the little thing to pinch down on a desk somewhere. So if you don't have a spot to pinch down, it makes it really difficult overall to mount this thing anywhere. Not like you can just screw it into something. Well, you probably could screw it into something, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it with the bottom of this thing. It's really nice. Another thing I'd like to mention as soon as I get this out of here. You see that into it where a microphone looks like it would go? Well, you're going to have to take that off to install this mic, and you install the little rubber piece in the shock mount and install it on there, if you'll follow me. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the little mic test for this. So right now, I have the audio, or for this whole entire video, actually, I've had the audio on level 50. I'm going to go through all the different levels from 10 to 100, and I want you all to tell me which one you all think was the best. I personally think 50 is the best, but I want to hear what you all think. So... So this is the microphone on 10%, 10%. This is the microphone on 20%, 20%. This is the microphone on 30%, 30%. 
This is the microphone on 40%. 40%. This is the microphone on 50%. 50%. This is the microphone on 60%. 60%. This is the microphone on 70%. 70%. This is the microphone on 80%. 80%. This is the microphone on 90%. 90%. This is the microphone on 100%. 100%. All right, so I guess that's all for the mic test. I'm going to go ahead and be quiet. I'd like to mention that I don't have any effects going through Audacity or anything. It's just flat out recording my audio. Anyways, I'm going to be silent for a second. Another thing I'd like to mention about this is I have a USB sound card. I'll link in the description. So let's say that you don't want to use the Phantom Power Supply or the swivel arm you could get the same audio setup for about 30 bucks with the USB um, audio adapter and that DXLR cable to 3.5 millimeter jack that came with the microphone you could just run that straight to your computer and for 30 bucks you could have similar audio but I'd really recommend the 60 buck one because this is very upgradable for the future like if I wanted to get another microphone like let's say the um Oh, what's that really good blue microphone? Not the blue Yeti, the one after that. I'll have to put it here. Or let's say the ATR2020. Well, this setup would actually support that. I could literally just upgrade very easily. So that's a upside to this. And then also with the Phantom Power, you can just turn on and off your mic as you want. But unfortunately, it takes a few seconds to turn off. Now, I just want to give a few thanks for this video. So I want to give a big thanks to Podcastage because... I would not know almost any of this stuff without Podcastage. Like, he does mic reviews and all this. I didn't even know what a Phantom Power Supply was before this or what a DXLR cable was. So, yeah, big thanks to him. And then also there's another YouTuber. Um, if I can find his channel, I'll put it here. He had the same exact mic setup. That, uh, I think he just had the NW700. And I was already planning on getting this setup. But, like, I didn't know how it sounded. And he let me know how it sounded. And I think it sounds pretty good. And now it's just y'all give me feedback about how y'all think. I highly recommend this setup because I find it similar to a blue snowball, but it's more upgradable. But yeah, now it's time for y'all to give me feedback. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.